All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I set up Helix into my DAW Logic and basically do some reamping with it. Okay, I'm gonna start off real basic. Make sure your input is set up and your output's been set up both to Helix Audio. Make sure your studio monitors are plugged directly into the back of the Helix. Um, I have the Helix LT here. Um, I'm gonna create three tracks. Okay, doesn't really matter what they're called. I'm just gonna call this Guitar One. Call this one DI. Okay, I'm gonna call this guy Reamp. Okay, so real simple stuff. As long as everything's set to multi on both your input and output, you'll get a good level of signal. Um, in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just make these both red. Cool, I got signal there. Okay, both of them are red. Now, DI, you have to set this to seven. Because if you go over to global settings on the actual Helix and go to page two, guitar, reamp source, USB seven. So in Logic, I've made the DI track input, input seven. Okay, everything's good. I got two blinking around lights. Let's just do something real quick. Make sure everything did right, looks good. So here's my original signal. Okay, here's my DI. Okay, so I want a different ambient sound. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna change my reamp to input one. No big deal, keep my DI on solo. I'll just actually just mute this off so I don't get solo everything. Um, go back to Helix and whatever patch you choose to go to. Um, in this case, screw it. We'll try this one. Sky Explosion. Okay, we're gonna go to your input and change it to USB 3.4. Okay, before you record anything, just play back the DI. This is really good. Okay, that should be better. Cool. I'm happy with that. Ready to track. Got my reamp. Don't really have to do anything at all. Just hit record. Cool. Uh, the level came back a little low. So one thing I had trouble with, I was trying to figure out how to adjust that. Well, you don't use the main volume knob on the helixes. You actually go in and adjust the patch. So in this case, we'll just go to the amp. Channel and volume is pretty loud. Okay. Well. Let's just do this. Turn the drum up. Cool. Now try it again. Success. Awesome. No latency either, which is awesome. Okay, and then I can just play around with it. Go back to my original as well. And then I can have a little fun. I'll just paint them both, hear what that sounds like. So, whatever you can do. Anyway, that's it, and that's pretty much how you reamp easily with the Helix. Thanks.